Alright lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Der Bruder Krieg mod as the North German Confederation. In the previous episode, we just, by, I'd say by the skin of our teeth, knocked out Austria before France came knocking. Like, when I saw that event, I was like, please, Lord, God, no. <laughs> we have, we don't have that many divisions. We only have 71 divisions, which was already kind of like a bit of a stretch for Austria. But if we had had to fight France as well, look at that long border. Oh, good Lord, that would have been so bad. But anyway, the, before we um, get start rolling on this, uh, actually, uh, eh, we, yeah, we'll leave it a while. We'll leave it a while. Also, for some reason, our tank design never saved, even though I know in the previous episode I did design it. I don't, that must have been just a, a failure of mine to save the game properly or something like that. Very odd. By the way, we're going to design this again. Panzer III, this is going to be the beefiest Panzer III that has ever existed. I mean, it is going to be huge. It's got the D's, it's got cast armor. Cast armor is absolutely amazing, because it means you can make the tank lighter and also give it stronger armor. Like, cast, but of course, the cast is also difficult to make, that's the problem. Uh, it's more expensive as well, but again, lighter and better armor. Uh, torsion bar for reliability as always. Now, medium armament, medium cannon. Fantastic. Of course, uh, in here it has the the short-barreled 50mm gun, of course. We're actually using the long-barreled 50 well, the you know, medium-ish barreled 50mm gun. Unfortunately, there is no design that has... It only has the, it only has the short-barreled 50mm gun. Panzer three. It doesn't have the short barreled thirty seven or the medium ish barreled uh, fifty. It's odd, and I hate it. Now three man turret as always. Ex look, look, God, you get eight breakthrough with this and twenty four with that. Literally triple. Produc uh, production cost isn't tripled either, which is handy. Yeah, it's got to be three man turret. We'll go for a secondary turret. We'll get a heavy machine gun. I imagine we'll put this uh, maybe coaxial to the main to the main gun or something like that. Probably using the 13.2, I think Germany or is it MG131? It's like a 13.1 millimeter heavy machine gun. Obviously, you'll have to going to scale down that rate of fire, uh, the cyclic rate, because it's very high on the aircraft. Right, so we, we might be using the the 15 15 something millimeter machine gun. Um, yeah, something like that. Going to have a basic radio. We are going to have additional machine guns because I can. So we, I assume that'd be a coaxial MG34 and a hull-mounted MG34, something like that. Armor skirts, dozer blade, expanded fuel tank, extra ammunition storage, sloped armor, which is huge, smoke launchers, and a wet ammunition storage. God, I would love to envision this vehicle. Max engine, max armor, diesel engine, cast armor, torsion bar, all these upgrades. God, I'd love to know what that, that would look like. That would be incredible. Now, it's kind of hard to actually distinguish between the Panzer IV and the Panzer III here on some of them. I believe that right there. Like, like that looks like the Panzer IV, I think, and then this is definitely the Panzer III. Yeah, I think that's the Panzer III with the long barrel 50. Even though the model itself will be using the short barrel 50, which is... <sighs> God, it's annoying. But yeah, we're going to have... That is perfect, I think. Three-man turret. Yeah, that's all good. Fantastic. So pop this into production right away. Now, I've decided that... Because we are going to be under embargo for much of the war, we won't really have a lot of rubber to be playing with, and all of the rubber that we currently have needs to go into trucks and later half tracks. So the air force is kind of out um, in terms of imports. We, we we just literally will not be able to get rubber, and it'll take too long to get an, a, a synthetics project off the ground. Uh, to, and, and even then, if we did manage to get it off the ground, it wouldn't it wouldn't meet our needs because it takes so long to build, and we get so little out of it. That uh, actually synthetic rubber is a lot easier to get than synthetic oil. Synthetic oil gives you almost nothing. Synthetic rubber actually does give you a decent bit. But anyway, so because we won't get much rubber, we are going to go heavily into the land forces. Which means, come over here, and we will get a medium howitzer. So, with this howitzer, what I'm trying to create is the Vespa, the 105mm German 7 propelled artillery gun. But... What's odd is that we're still using a three-man turret, which means that we've actually got a howitzer inside of a turret, which is incredibly difficult to do back in, you know, 1939, with even less advanced industry than in, you know, Germany in our own timeline. So how we're doing this, I don't know. Obviously, the Vespa itself is an open-topped uh, vehicle, but... I can get that howitzer and still have the three-man turret at the same time. I don't have to use the medium-fixed superstructure. And as you can see, the breakthrough gets absolutely hammered by doing this. The fence goes up a little bit. 
and our speed, our speed goes down, reliability goes up as well. So I think there needs to be some, because obviously medium fixed superstructure is like that of say a Stug 3, where, where you know it's not open top, but it also doesn't have a turret. But like there's no actual open topped hull or turret, so to speak, in Hearts of Iron 4, which needs to be fixed. It's very odd. Actually, light fix hoops are that. That looks like like it might be uh, open. Actually, but this one is very clearly enclosed. What are the differences? Three minus twenty five percent, twenty percent. It's the same thing. Except this is a lower production cost. Of course, I think the Vespa was made on the chassis of a Panzer II. I'm not sure. So, so what, what should we do here? Use your extra defense. It's only a small bit more expensive. Or, uh, man, let me check here. Yeah, it's only a small bit more expensive. Gets you so much better breakthrough. Somehow we are fitting a 105mm gun. Howitzer even. Like, and, 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 and a long-barreled howitzer at that. Probably, yeah, probably more like a gun than more so than a howitzer. I know it says medium howitzer. But, uh, I mean, if you imagine the the 105mm gun on the Vespa, fitting that into a turret and still having it being be able to elevate as high as it does is incredible. I don't know how we're doing it, but we're doing it. Rome science. Lovely. Now, we will save as new. And this is the Vespa Wasp, which uh, Shickle Gruber did not like the name of, but it's what everyone calls it, so what can you do? I'm, I'm, I'm like, uh, I was kind of thinking about what should I, you know, like, name each of these, like, you know, for the... For the half track, when you get its SDK said I think it's like one two one or something like that. I was considering doing that for all the vehicles. I might still do it, but until then, I'm just going to call this the Vespa and change it, the icon to this. Where there's three of the literally exact same one. I don't know why there's three of them, but this is not the Vespa, as far as I'm aware. Uh, where is it? It's the Ostwind. It's the Verbal Wind. Yeah. So I'm fairly certain this is not the Vespa. This, this looks like a giant gun. I I want to say that this is the Brumbar, but I don't think it is the Brumbar. I think the Brumbar is like the smaller Stormteager. This is definitely like a 15 centimeter gun, though. I know this isn't the Vespa, but it's the closest thing to that looks like a Vespa, so I'm going to use it. I think that's about everything. <laughs> we get to literally create an entirely different vehicle just for the purpose of, you know... We, yeah, we, we, we can create an entirely different vehicle and only spend one army experience, which is crazy. Supply use goes up massively. Support attack goes... Or support... Yeah, soft attack goes up. Breakthrough goes down. Suppression goes... Yeah, completely cut in half. Fair enough. Now, artillery roll. Fantastic. We have our medium howitzer. Three-man turret. Got all the exact same... It's the same engine. It's the same armor. Literally all the exact same. All It's still got some machine guns for close-in support. You never know when you, you know, infantry might get to the tank. Perfect. Vespa. Now, what's odd... I, actually, I, I might do a video on that. Because, uh... It's very annoying. But, uh, yeah. I, w I won't talk about it now, but it is quite annoying. Now, when we get a more modern anti-aircraft gun, we will absolutely create um, a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. Whereas, yeah, basic anti-aircraft gun, that's level 1, we need a level 2. So, we'll put those two into production at the moment. That is fine. What else do we have? Okay. Put the Panzer three down here. Let me put you at a 10, and you at like a 30, maybe something like that. Damn, we don't have enough for that. Might cut the production of trucks. Yeah. They still have a long way to go as well. Before they become fully efficient. Steel, let's get some from our brave Italian allies. Tungsten, let's get some from the Swedes. Now, get rid of these frontline orders. I'm going to have to do this. I have done a bit of playtesting. And for some reason, the, the front lines go crazy. I have no idea why, because so as you can see here, we can form a full front line, which is fantastic, but then when France declares war on us, they just mess up completely because they don't bring the Dutch and the Westphalians into the war immediately. So 
the front lines mess up and our units go all over the place. It's it's very annoying. Um, so we're going to have to draw individual battle plans. Or uh, rather, individual front lines. So we are going to... Which one of you is the worst here? Partner is the worst, but he does actually have... Okay, I think I might get rid of Modal, actually. Just for the sake of his. Let's see you filled up. Oh, there we are. Almost three full 24 stacks. Perfect. Actually, to be fair, we probably don't need... Yeah, we probably don't need 24 divisions for the Dutch. Uh, take one from Herpner. Give him the Paulus. Just do it like that. That's perfect. Spearhead. No, is it a spearhead? No. Spearhead into France. Not spearhead, just the battle plan into France. Offensive line. Now for the Westphalians. Just for Westphalia. Which has almost 8 million people in it, by the way. 5 million, or 5.4 million in Westphalen. And 3 million in Rex Rhinish. Rex Rhinish? Yeah, Rex Rhinish. Hopner. The Dutch. Ah, oh, balls are made a mess of that. Achtung. There we are, just like that. Angetreten. And into Holland. Of course, again, only one region of the Netherlands is actually called Holland. The Dutch do not appreciate that, as far as I'm aware, when you call the entire country Holland. Angetreten. Now, who was I saying? Yeah, Holland doesn't need that many men. So we give is we give it back to Model. Maybe try and get another. We get Friedrich Schultz, yeah. Actually, infantry commander. Of course, our industry is getting off the ground in a fantastic way. So hopefully, soon enough, we will have motorized divisions, tank divisions, all that kind of good stuff. Got 197 factories at the moment. Is yeah, 113 mils. That's pretty damn good. It's only 39 as well. Now those are the front lines established. That should be fine. Also, just do that. Make sure everyone's fully motorized. What else is there? Air Doctrine. To be fair, we might as well just go for the Air Doctrine because... Or maybe we should spend it here, actually. Spirit of the Air Force. Air Accidents Chance. Uh, yeah, we'll get Veteran Air Instructors. Air Wing Experience Loss will kill minus 25%, letting the best train the rest. A.K.A. the British strategy, not the German strategy. In our own timeline. Air crew service. I've always been fond of this. It's just so handy to get minus 15% air doctrine cost. And as well as the uh, minus 25% air accident chance. After all, they were the ones using the equipment. So why not ask them? There we are. Let's spend it there. Now. Let, let the game roll forward a little bit. Is that the smoke alarm? The smoke alarm's always going off. The fall of Budapest. No, sorry about that. Fall of Budapest. Budapest, the capital of Hungary, has fallen into the hands of the revolutionary Hungarian city. Yeah, the war is over. The war is over. Now, scale down those imports, please. Of course, I think we actually have a bit to repair. Yeah, we have a bit to repair, so hopefully these are uh, resource deposits. We can eliminate our imports. Yeah, there's definitely got to be some steel in those regions. Who are we still fighting? Oh, I see. Are the Japanese actually in the, the Pact der Freundschaft? They are. That's odd. Because none of you are Germanic. Of course, they can't just change the faction name, unfortunately. Oh, Brothers in Arms cancelled. Oh, because we're not in a conflict with Austria. Okay, hey, we nearly had that focus done. It was like four days away from finishing or something ridiculous like that. The hell with that. Uh... Focus out, no checks. Focus out, complete, yeah. 5% division attack and defense, resource to market 0%. I will take that, thank you. We nearly had that focus done. Also, I must remember once, once the, when, uh, when we go to war with France to actually do this focus, yeah. Now, re-establish central control, please. 
suppose we can scale it down already. No, we can't. Damn, it's a lot of steel. Nice. But apparently, uh, German steel is low quality. I know that was an issue in the the Second Great Conflict, is that German steel was just generally of a low quality, whereas the French steel was quite good. Not sure what the levels for steel quality are, but the German ones weren't too good, apparently. Of course, we still can't actually unify Germany till we get till we get uh, Westphalia. Oh, that's a pain. That is a pain. Hmm. Okay. Reestablish central control. Gains cores on the Austria and Bohemia. Fantastic. Minus 10% base stability. The old Austrian lands have been in chaos with several supportive ethnic militias running amok. To really control these lands, we need to assert German power, though this will no doubt raise memories of the old Austrian Empire. Yeah, I'm not creating puppets. To hell with that. It's all Germany now, baby. Treaty of Munich, the final Bruder Krieg is over and the Prussians are victorious. Today the fatherland front of Austria launched a coup and deposed the Kaiser, who has fled the country. As part of the peace deal, the Prussians will annex the members of the South German Confederation and occupy Austria proper on Bohemia. The Italians shall receive Croatia and shall set up a nationalist puppet state. Europe will never be the same. New order has arisen. Yeah, we'll see about that. Italy performed incredibly poorly in the war. They were pushed back to here and like, like they're getting stuff that we have cores on. I don't know about all that. I'll be entirely honest. I'll wait until things have kind of wrapped uh, wrapped up here in Greece, and then I think I might start I might start uh, changing things. Now, yeah, that's all fine, perfect. Upner, entry expert. Student can't get anything that I actually want him to get. Grand job. Everyone, get into place. Yes, please. Train up if. Uh, Train up if need to be also. Teach to redeploy, that's the one. Also, aircraft, yes. No doubt we've captured many Austrian aircraft. Up there, please. Ooh, 2000, I love when I get a big airbase. Actually, I might just let uh, our aircraft, though those aircraft in reserve, just filter into the new, or, fil or filter into the already existing formations. I don't think there is anything there to go in. No, there's nothing. Fine. Do this so, please. Here we are, fantastic. Almost a thousand aircraft. Again, very small air force. But it's uh, not having a big air force will be a great boon for us once. Ooh, fantastic. We can really scale down the imports. Not having, a, not having a big air force will be a boon for us once we get into the conflict with the British, because we will basically just not be able to get any rubber whatsoever. Portugal invokes the Treaty of 1928. Today is part of the Portuguese-French Treaty of 1928. Napoleon VI and Duarte II announced the signing of a defensive pact and formation of an official alliance. The Portuguese signed the Treaty of 1928 after their brutal civil conflict and promised to join France in the, in the event of a brewing conflict. The French, seeking to counter the expansion posed by Ernst Röhm, have gained a new friend in Western Europe. The move was widely supported by Portuguese shipbuilders who seek to use the French market to gain piles of profit. A loyal ally. Eh... Don't the, don't the Spanish also have something uh, going on with the French? Because now the, the Portuguese are properly in the faction. Ah, nice national spirit. France mobilizes against us. Breaking their neutrality for the first time in over 100 years, France has thrown their way behind Austria. Austria is dead, I am glad to say. And will be at war, oh, at war with us soon enough. Will they back down because Austria is gone? Send troops to Western Front now. France mobilizes against Prussia. Today, the French Empire announced that they were preparing troops to intervene against the North German Confederation. With the Bruder Krieg ongoing in Central Europe, the balance of power in Europe looks to be in limbo, with Prussia growing stronger every day. France fearing the threat of a unified Germany to their continental ambitions. Declared support for the Austrian Empire. The Prussians and Italians have begun to, to divert troops to the Western Front in preparations for the war, while France finishes mobilization. Whether they will be able to hold off the French monster is something only time can tell. Disaster coming in Europe. Let's hope not. Keep repairing all that lovely steel. Jabal Shamar is gone. Or Jabal Shamar. Jabal Shamar, I really don't know. Oh, UK deck. What? Why would you declare war on Russia? You've got. You've got no land border. Well, you kind of do, into their puppets, but. It's an outrageous thing to do. What? That's stupid. Oh, you know what? It suits me just fine. Hopefully, that'll keep the British away from us and the Russians. They'll be busy fighting each other or trying to find or trying to find a way to fight each other. <laughs> they, they don't really... Okay, now they border each other. That was quick. Holy crap. 
The division of the Ottoman Empire having fallen to their longtime foe, Russia has divided the Ottomans as they see fit, establishing several Arabic puppet states and leaving a rum state in Anatolia. Beat writer Jared Morbius of the New York Times has coined this massive upturn in the Arab Spring, with multiple ethnic groups gaining autonomy from the oppressive Sultan. The British expressed great anxiety over the fall of the Ottomans, who owe them many loans and have denounced Russia's actions as Middle Eastern imperialism. The sick man of Europe has been put down. Yeah, it would seem that way. I would certainly take... Ah, oh, God, it's still the Saudis. A new United Arabia, long known as a place of oil. Not 1939, it wasn't. Sand and little else. Now most of the Arabian Peninsula is united under Abdulaziz bin Abdul Rahman al Saud, and the balance of power shift in the Middle East in ways no one can predict. Empire of Japan. So who am I at war, who am I at war with now? I see. Empire of Japan and South China Republic. Okay, here's an idea. How How is the war going? Yeah. Okay, so casualties here. 341. How did you lose... Um, how did you lose men to Japan, Italy? How did you do that? How did you lose 27,000? Okay, never mind. 17 of that was from the other Greece. But still, how did you lose 10,000? Yeah. I, I have literally no problems with Japan, so I'm going to uninvolve myself from this war. And I think the Russians would like to do the same. Seeing so nothing is really happening in Korea. Yeah, that's the one. And hopefully this will take both of our factions out of the war. Please tell me you're not still in the Pact of Freundschaft. Oh god, you are. That's stupid. Uh, terms of the White Peace. Mukden Click gets annexed into the Manchu Republic. Southern Sakhalin. As well as the Kurils. Are ceded to Russia. Uh, I think that's about it. Oh, we'll hand over this territory. Yeah. To I think that's is that Tianjin? I think so. We'll hand that over to you, Japan. Well, I think that was an Austrian concession. So, in all likelihood, the Japan. Well, the lower justification of that is the Aust is the Japanese seized it when Austria collapsed. Also, there's other territories like that. We have this one. This was obviously also an Austrian territory. The Italians can have that. That makes sense. Get rid of the politics too, in case I give someone a civil war by mistake. Yeah, so you can have that territory. How the hell did you get Kenya? Hmm. Togoland was seized by the British. That's 1.16 million people. Don't suppose any robber? No. Doesn't matter anyway. That's seized by the... Br uh, not British Nigeria. Whoops. That's seized just by the UK. Uh, yes, Rio de Oro is see was seized by the French, and I oh yes, I think we've yeah. Obviously, these territories here, the Ionian Islands, as well as Corfu, are belong to our Greek ally. Then this Greece died, so they got annexed into Greece proper. Uh, actually, I'll just do this first. South Macedonia is Bulgaria, goes to Bulgaria. Why can't I do that? Actually, just tell you what, do this. Get rid of that. Clear our marks. There we are. So that's that's uh, Bulgaria's concession from the war. They got, damn, 1.22 million people out of that. We'll give you a core on that. I assume you have cores on all the rest of it. Thessaloniki, or Solon, I think, is what the Bulgarians call it. Uh, also, yes, Byzantium is now here, which is cool. The Greeks are actually trying to form Byzantium. But now Byzantium is here without them. I think it's here. Yeah, <laughs> right there at the bottom, and bring back Byzantium once more. Byzantium is back, but it's... Bruh, their ruling party is literally called the Megali idea. That's mad. Uh... Oh, fire alarm's going again. Oh, sorry about that. Yes, Gallipoli, the rest of Odrin goes to Bulgaria. That's going to be their concession. Also, I see Bulgaria was forced to cede southern Dobruja to Romania, interestingly. And Albania, yeah. Okay, so now we can do the annexation. King of Epirus into the Hellenic states. Perfect. Who has the... The French have this somehow. 
And the Italians have the Dodecanese. That's fine. The British have Crete. That's got to be rough. Also, yeah, Italy, again, you did horribly, so I'll take that and give that to Greece. I think they have a core on it anyway. They don't. Mark all states, add core. The Mantua Republic now has core on Slovakia. Yeah, God damn it. Looks like I'd marked up Slovakia with... Uh... <laughs> damn it, I hate when that happens. Okay, so we're now going to remove your cores on that. And this will go to Slovakia. Or uh, Hungary, rather. Slovakia will go to Slovakia. No, Slovakia will go to Hungary. Because, again, the Russians also performed horribly in the war. So, them getting Galicia is, you know, prize enough. Which they immediately got cores on. That's outrageous. What else is there? Yes, we'll give this... Croatian state to Hungary. You are in our faction and you're a puppet. That's good. That's good. Independent state of Croatia. Yeah, the... Italians aren't getting that. That's not happening. Uh, puppet tool. Yeah, country puppeting tool. There we go. Uh, I'm going to make you free. Now I'm going to make you an integrated puppet of me. Oh, this guy's way more badass. Perfect. I'll do the same with you, actually. Personal union. Yeah, just integrated puppet. <laughs> now you're just hungry, lol. <laughs> Faring is back! Faring's like, the series may be over, but I remain. Fantastic, he's back. Also, yes, not finished yet. I'm going to take that, because you don't deserve it, simply put. Perfect. And this can go to Croatia. The price of your terrible performance in the war is forever ceding your claims on the Dalmatian territories, as well as just the Adriatic territories in general, as well as Trentino and South Tyrol. If they were separate states, I would give Italy Trentino, but they're not, so I'll take both. Serbia can have that. That's fine. They're a Russian puppet anyway. Or Russian... Yeah, literally a Russian puppet. Uh, I don't know how the hell that happened. It's still very annoying. Because we literally sent them volunteers. We won We won the war f with them, for them. The Russians supported Alexander the First, and somehow they just get the puppet anyway. I think I might steal Bulgaria from Russia. As soon as that war with Afghanistan is over. Can you hurry up and kill Afghanistan, please? What's the... Uh, current... 34k. Okay, yeah. Casualties aren't too bad. Just hurry up. Damn. Afghans may have 100,000 men. That's not bad. Faction map so far. Yeah, I gotta do something about this faction. I assume, like, you're a puppet. No, you're not, so if, if I just if I disband the faction, it'll mess it up. Okay, the packed Dorfrein shaft of the east can stay. That is so odd. But I think that's about everything we want to do. 5.6 million, yeah, we've still, still got Austria. Yeah, you have, uh, you have that. It's cool. Yep, yeah, that'll be the price of Italy's terrific incompetence. In that war, they will have to forever cede their claims to this region. Of course, they've still got a lot to gain out of a defeated France. They've still got Tunisia to gain. They've still got Corsica. They've got all of Savoy. Um, assuming we'll be fighting the British, they've got Malta to gain. They've also got Ticino to gain, I suppose. But uh, everything in the east, that's gone. Forget about it. Not with that horrific performance. Oh, rolling on. Get those armoured vehicles out as quickly as possible, please. British Caesar of Palestine. 
Taking advantage of the division of the Ottomans and the chaos that followed, British forces moved from the Kingdom of Egypt to occupy Palestine, forming the Mandate of Palestine, the territories they seized. Westminster had to act quick to preserve their Middle Eastern influence and quickly sent troops along with Egypt to cross the Sinai and into Palestine. St. Petersburg immediately denounced Britain's actions as Middle Eastern imperialism. Tensions between the two great powers have risen exponentially as of late. A bold, perhaps insane move. Shortage of steel. Italy handed over. Fantastic, the Swedes have increased their production of tungsten. We've got two more factories. Hmm. I think we're getting half track soon enough. Yeah, ten days. We'll put it into tanks for the time being. Soon enough, we're going to have to uh, begin half track production. Here we go. French intervention in the Europa Krieg. You didn't intervene in anything, you just started one. Today, Napoleon VI announced a war declaration against North German Confederation, with France preparing their forces for the, over the past few months for a conflict. It seems that the conflict with the rising Prussian power loomed on the horizon. Now that war is official, they will have to hold the banks of the Rhine and Westphalen and the Alps of Italia. Napoleon I was able to fight almost all of Europe with his military genius. Whether Napoleon VI can do the same remains to be seen. The Prussians were ready for the, for the declaration as their troops have already made small skirmishes with the Army Francaise and have deployed the Luftwaffe. Napoleon on Europe's ass again. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Hopefully the borders don't go all wonky. Okay, that's interesting. You don't really have troops on the border. You have level five land forts. Okay, you get the you get the Maginot line even in this timeline. Where you didn't build one. Level three level six level six land forts in Westphalen. What about Holland? Nothing. Good. Well, to make this simpler. I am going to just immediately bring in ha uh, hal how can I can I actually get rid of this? Or rather can I clear all the marks? I don't think am I still marked? No, I think okay, I think we're fine. Get the Dutch and the Westfalen Ease? Westfaleners? I don't know. Get them to declare war on me as well. Just to make the front lines easier. As well as just to allow me to go from day one. Aircraft, time to stop training. You have naval bombers here. That's fine. Fighter carrier wings, that's unfortunate. You can go do naval strike in the eastern North Sea. And the rest of you can just come up here and do regular missions. Air superiority and close air support. Right here. to war immediately. Who can I afford here, Steiner? I do not think so. A rubber's about... Well, a rubber, yeah. Soon enough it'll be out the window. Empire of Vietnam, are you... I don't need convoys to trade with you. I don't suppose you're... Oh, you're in the French faction, aren't you? Yeah, okay. Here we are. Never mind. Forget about it. Alright, well, if we're not going to defend these fantastically easy to defend areas, I might as well try and attack and get something. Now, easy area right here to attack. What the hell is it so laggy for? Bereit. Ausrücken. Angetreten. Yep. Attack right up into Ausrücken. here. And go. Making good gains already. Fantastic. Bereit. Yeah. Cut them off. Cut them in two. Fantastic, already across the river. Right, what we're gonna do with you is go here and you go here. Fantastic, we're on the outskirts of Dortmund already. Dutch capital, don't mind if I do. Right. 
How are things going here? Yeah, as I expected, not as good. You, can you attack there? You can, fantastic. One of you should hold. It's a mountain tile across a river with a level 5 for it, yeah. I won't hold it against you for not being able to break it. Oh man, is that fire alarm about to go off again? Please don't go off again. There's nothing burning. Nothing's on fire. Except for France in the mod. Ooh, one guarded province is level 240. I don't mind if I do. If you assist here. Cross that river, for the love of God. None of you are joining this war, because you'll only lose. Die. Did I get my uh, half tracks yet? No, I've got three days. Yes, so now here comes the difficulties with importing. The British will be on us soon enough. I think. Can I should I improve relations with you? Who's, who's, who's Prime Minister? I don't know who's Prime Minister. Imperial Federation, damn. You hate us. Why do you hate us so bad? Okay, fair enough. Oh, but you all just got a decrease in opinion. Minus 100. Yeah, never mind. Stupid. Right. Dortmund is ours. Keep pushing. Yeah, definitely take that. You assist with the attack here. Push here, push here. Now pushing here. That's an unguarded problem. Well, not unguarded, but weak. Fuck it, keep pushing here. Seems to be very weak altogether. There quickly. Good. Rail line cut. Fantastic. More position. Uh, matters little if you have a Maginot line if you do not defend it. Fantastic. Got the half tracks. Which one was it? It was the 11. Okay, yeah. Sonderkraft Fahr Zoig. 11. I don't know what 11 is in German. <laughs> yeah, put them up here. Uh, yeah, put the five factories in here. 32 if we guess. We get 15, that'd be pretty good, I'd have to say. My cost production here. Yeah, that's close enough. I wish a TNO like system existed for the resources in every mod. We can stockpile the resources. Yes, now we need to go for the next... Yeah, I'm trying to get to this. So we can get better anti-aircraft guns. So that we can start yeah, building the self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. Self-propelled anti-aircraft guns. There we are. That's better. Expand in all directions. How are things going here? Ooh, lovely little pocket. Of French divisions. Don't mind if I do. An unexpected resistance. 
While there has been overall a great acceptance of the unification of Germany, even if by force there, have, there has been unexpected resistance to our pan-German movement. The source of this problem, of course, is the damned Catholics. They follow the orders of the papacy instead of Ernst Röhm, the leader of the German people. They view their religion as more important than our ambitions to unite all Germans and must be crushed. I imagine the Protestants would all also be an issue, seeing as how we're going for the whole worshipping the old Nordic gods thing. The Pope's influence will be dealt with. Gains religious divide, which grants minus 20% recruitable population factor, 10% consumer goods, minus 10% construction speed, and plus 20% resistance growth rate for 1,460 days. So basically the rest of the campaign. Launch the Congo Revolt. Minus 500 units of carbine and 98k. French subs hard administration gets into the Congolese Revolt. Sounds good to me. The rest of that is literally just... Yeah. Well, wow. literally just building slots. Now that you are encircled, we'll have to do something about you. I still got those damn good forts, though. Alright. Oh, fantastic, you've been crushed. Glorious. Yeah, this is urban as well, not mountains. Makes it so much easier. You should probably hold just in case an attack comes from Sarbrook. Now for ye. Westphalen's gone. Fantastic. That is fantastic work altogether. All right. Still got forts, but we should be able to start pushing them out. Cologne, yeah. We'll start beginning a big push. Ausrücken! Ausrücken! Amsterdam. Let's not let them get dug in here. Don't appear to have too many units. Apparently the French have got, yeah, between 27 and 114 divisions. Yeah, the rest of you have got a decent number of divisions as well. We'll have to fight the Portuguese too, but hopefully they shouldn't be too much of an issue. They are the biggest, yeah, second biggest power. Even after all of uh, France's puppets are accounted for. The French tank division right there. Experiencing heavy resistance at Colm and Bonn. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah, one of you will die. Need to break this province. Three land fort, okay. Fantastic. That's the one right there. That is the one. Ooh, can we get in the circle here? In the circle here, maybe? Only a couple of provinces away from doing so. Oh, baby, if we get this, we're golden. Let me just make sure I'm actually recording this, because uh, this might not happen again if I mess up this recording. All seems to be good. No, let me just double check. Everything seems, seems to be fine. That's grand. Second Bush War between Argentina and Peru Bolivia. Make sure we've got the Air Force supporting this. We do. Fantastic. Okay, the French have, French have actually arrived. At the, I don't know where the hell their army was. Bolivian National Public Controllist Front. Oh, baby, we are almost there. Hold. Actually, no, don't hold. <laughs> Nice. Very nice. Achtung. Angetreten. 
Congolese revolt. Today, the Congolese revolted from the colonial government in the French Sub Saharan administration. Laborers and miners from the majority formed the majority of the rebellion. The leader has been identified as Dona Beatrice, who claims to be the reincarnation of the 17th century that started the Antoniaism, which advocates that Jesus is black. Beatrice's charisma has massively grown the movement. Now, thousands are up in, uh, are, oh, excuse me. Are up in arms in the capital and Napoleonville. Uh, this one, I assume. No. Maybe it just hasn't been implemented yet. Anyway, the government in Paris has reacted frantically to the news, and with the war raging against the Prussians, they must divert valuable resources to secure their Congolese colony. What have we got here on the border? Yes. Look at this. Like, look at this. Italy's not even ready to start joining this war. Achtung. Achtung. No, he wasn't come too focused on crushing this pocket. Keep pushing. Oh, back here, so. Excellent work. Well, if possible, it would be nice Angetreten. if we could, you know, have a proper front line now. Is that possible? It is. Praise be. Please do not go crazy. Bantling territory. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad at all. Hey, I think we're actually alright. I don't think we should lose territory or anything like that. Ooh, they are bombing the hell out of us. What's all of this, uh... Joining war stuff? Who, who else are you fighting? No one? Okay. Just me and you. Well, apart from the Congolese. How do we do with those tanks? Not too bad. Could do with more, though. To be fair. Try and get more. We've actually got full rubber. Yeah, yeah, because the British are staying out of it so far. Fantastic. Can't get any more from you. Try and get some from the Hellenic State, of course, our loyal allies. Now we should be able to reassign out of this air zone while the fighting there is over. Where next? How many troops do we have up here? Yeah, it's difficult enough. But the fields are fine. But, uh, can't see their troops. I think it's just a, maybe a general attack here. We'll have to wait until our forces redeploy, see how we're doing. French are doing the exact same. Angetreten. Oh, an attack! And we'll put the Air Force right here. The Brits mobilize. Ah, oh, shit. On the plights of the traitorous Austrians. The Austrians are dead. Pesky British have mobilized their army forces and have amassed a large number of airplanes and ships to assist in our downfall. A grave mistake. Well, I won't be clicking that until I have to. Holding back the French attack. It's good. What are you doing? Makeshift bridges, though. Oh. 
Fantastic that you're attacking in so many areas. <clears throat> Voice went there. Allows me ample opportunity to attack elsewhere. I think we'll leave it at that. Fantastic. Re-established central control is finished. We're out of court in Austria now. And we can do form Germany. Beautiful. North German Confederation will be known as the German Volksrealm. Gets about the unification of Germany. New flag? No new flag. Okay. Unification of Germany today at the Berlin, Re Berlin Realmstag. Ernst Röhm announced the declaration of a new unified Germany in front of hundreds of thousands of attendees. For centuries, Germany has has lain in ruins, devastated, crushed by internal conflict and external threats who seek to exploit our people and resources. But through Prussian military prowess and nationalism, Bismarck's dream is finally fulfilled. Not since Karl or Gross have the German people been so united, strong and proud. Deutschland über alles. The great question of the day must be decided by blood and iron, and it already has been. I'm going to do this one now. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Oops. This one. Bismarck's dream achieved. At last, Germany shall be united as late Chancellor Bismarck planned. We must hold a great ceremony to celebrate the unification, which will uh, surely precede the unification of all Germans. Glory to the Vaterland. As a reward for completing the mission, remove Bismarck's broken dream. Daily political power cost plus 0.2. So currently it's at 2.11. And we're getting 2.31. Damn, that's, that's decent. Well, I suppose it's only going to be 1.31. But uh, since we'll have to do, start doing a focus. And we will do... Uh, should we do this one to get cores, or should we do this one? Because yeah, we can always do that one later. Do legacy tilts. I want those cores on Vestfalen and all that. Plenty of factories. All good here. Fantastic. Making big pushes. Making big pushes here, though. Oh man! An opportunity to encircle Rotterdam. I shall take it. Pull two in reserve. Don't do that. up the pressure. Um, ooh, 131 to 152. Damn, that's nice. Put these back to 15, I reckon. Now we have 12 to play with. Go to 40, I think. Go to 15. Give me some more support equipment, yeah. Unlocking another level. Oh no. Never mind, that's the same level of air doctrine as last time. Fantastic. Yep, yeah, convoy is getting raided. I am not sending out the fleet though. After. That looks like an easy enough target. Did you attack there too? Yeah, good. Shit, please. What level is that? Okay, folks, I'm not so broken. Oh, 
Russell's captured, I think. Oh, British mobilize. No news event for this one, apparently. Soon enough, we will have absolutely no rubber. Thirty-six thousand. Ooh, 226 of the French. 42 for the Westphalians. 63 for the Belgians. I think we yeah, should try and knock out the Belgians. Whatever that is. That's a level 5 4. That's not ideal, but if they're weak, it won't matter. The Belgians are gone. Yeah, I actually get twenty five on support equipment. Big push time. That's weak enough, right. try and push that. Air Force. Uh yeah, it's all northern France now anyway, so. Leave it there. Oh, I don't know where you're going. Damn, the Battle for Verdun is still going. I didn't realize it was. I see a pincer shaping up. Fantastic. Go across the river.
Oh, here come the British. British intervention in the Europa Creed. Why, why the BUF lightning bolts? Today, the United Kingdom announced that they were preparing troops to intervene against the German Volksrealm with the Europa Creed go ongoing in Europe. The balance of power in Europe looks to be in limbo, with Prussia growing stronger every day. Britain fearing the threat of a unified Germany to their continental ambitions, declared support for the Austrians. But the Austrians are dead. Please understand this. Prussians and Italians have begun to divert troops of the guard to the guarding their coast in preparations for potential naval invasions while the Royal Army finishes mobilization. Whether they will be able to hold off the British Bulldog is something only time can tell. A Europa Krieg, now a Welt Krieg. We are staying out of it. You finished this research yet? I know I'm not exactly. Yeah, damn, I think I started the this episode in October. I'm microing heavily. The 1940 research tech. How many more factories have been secured? Many. That's good. Of course, here goes our rubber. Serious trouble breaking through here. And here come the British. Yep. Take all those non aggression packs. And reject your offer of joining the war. Oh, I actually can get some trade here. Damn, that's better than I thought it would be. Am I actually going to be able to keep getting rubber? It's almost filled. Wow. Of course, a lot of this will be interdicted because it relies on convoys, but for now we have enough rubber. Damn. And we're done as ours. The idea of encirclement kind of went out the window, but you know how it is. God, it's death stacked. 16 divisions stacked and we're done. Here is the encirclement. Here is the encirclement. Ah, it's, it's encirclement falling apart. Ah, Paris is right there. Kurt student wounded. That's one of the first wounded we've had all, uh, all game. Pull out. Go here. Take Paris. Holy shit, Paris is death stack, man. What the hell are you doing bridges for? I think that might be the episode. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it here because uh, I've got to. Uh, Go cut the lawn and have a shower. But alright, let's hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, as well as commenting down below. I shall see you in the comment section of this video, and I shall see you in the next video. But until then, goodbye.